Battle stations. Battle stations. Man is spotted. Barry 335. Hot. Uh, greetings, Gary Commanders, and welcome to Grim Reaper's Naval Air Station Socrates. I thought I would take the opportunity this morning to talk to you about one of my favourite aircraft in the game. Nope, it's not the Venerable Petrel. It is probably lots of people's favourite, the Razorbill. The most common weapons fit you'll find for the Razor Bill is twin auto cannons, and if you have one, usually a flare launcher. Um, using this loadout, you can tackle almost everything um, on an entire two shield island. Um, you, you have, if you're sparing with your ammunition and have used short bursts, you can probably take out every single ground unit and tow it. Um, you will probably struggle to take out um, ships with the auto cannons, although there is just about enough ammunition in two guns to sink a needlefish if you're very, very careful. Uh, obviously, if the needlefish is the kind that's got a sea whiz, um, then you're probably not going to make it. So I would, I would uh, look at some of our other videos for how better ways to deal with those. Um, so one, one of the things I really like about the, the uh, razor wheel is its uh, maneuverability, it, its uh, ability to suddenly change direction, to hide behind things, um, and to really quickly change its altitude just by uh, inverting and flying towards the ground. Uh, it's it's great for avoiding fire from uh, ground units of all shapes and sizes, um, and it's just really satisfying to, to fly along, spot some headlights, uh, turn on and start shooting and, and watch the fireworks. So, great, great fun. As with most air ops, um, situational awareness, ha having all the information before you set out is going to help you best manage what to do with your principle. Knowing where threats like swordfish or seawares are before you leave the deck will give you the most chance of coming home and the, give you the best way of prioritising what to shoot at and what to avoid. Managing the speed during combat, managing your throttle is really important. Uh, you can only take advantage of having the agility if you've got throttle to spare. So try and fly about 50-60% rather than at full throttle all the time. Even though the Razor is really manoeuvrable, you mustn't be complacent. Even though you've got flares and it's generally pretty effective, you still might get hit by a lucky missile or someone with a TV missile. When you do need to get somewhere quick, um, the best way to manage your speed is by changing the throttle because it's a rotary wing the best way is to change the pitch to, to tilt forward to go f to speed up and to tilt backwards to slow down um, you can get pretty good speed out of a razor bill by doing this the best time to engage ground targets is night time each seal walrus and bear has a pair of helpful headlights and that's usually the best place to aim is halfway or towards the end of where the headlight beam finishes. You can tell which way they're going and if they're moving they'll drive into the splash damage area. Razor Build's agility really does come into its own with close air support and close combat like this. I tend to find myself um, flying a kind of sideways curve 
uh, rather than directly at most things and if I overshoot it's much better to uh, pile the power on and do a kind of sharp bank than it is to try and slow down or go backwards you are still going to get hit by things uh, the, the Stormtrooper AI does occasionally hit stuff and because the razorbill is quite small and quite light you aren't going to be able to take many so just bear that in mind if you do start taking damage it's probably a good time to just head back to the ship and get repaired If you're finding that you can't hit things, usually because of lag or just because you're just getting used to it, um, I tend to just switch to another target and have a fresh run, uh, trying to waste too many shots on something that you're not hitting. Uh, could be because it's in the water and the shots aren't dealing any damage, or it could just be some lag. So change targets, give yourself another chance, don't get frust don't get fixated on one target. It might just be the angle that you go at or the, the speed that both of you are at that's just making it difficult. So with some care and with some accurate shooting you can take out an entire two shield without too much trouble. Just be aware of other aircraft of ships and the terrain. If you've got flares then that should keep you safe from most air-to-air -air missiles but it isn't going to make any difference against SeaWiz so like I said at the beginning make sure your spotter it does its job and identifies all the targets before you set out. If there's one weakness with the Razor Bill, it's this kind of tiny fuel tank. Uh, I've seen a few people kind of compensate with this by fitting an external tank and only one gun, but this, this obviously cuts your killing power down by about 50%. But if you do need to do a relatively long trip, like halfway towards another island, then this might be an option for you. So maybe give it a try. I hope this short intro to the Razor Mill has been helpful. My name is Bread Rock and thank you for watching.